Greetings, 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 greetings to each one of you. Welcome to the Overcomers Bible Fellowship uh, show. Certainly we are honored that you have tuned in, and I know that it will not be in vain, for there are always nuggets that we can pick up from the Word of God that will impact our life. I bring you greetings from West Angeles Church of God in Christ, pastored by Bishop Charles C. Blake and Mrs. May L. Blake. Certainly we bid our love and our prayers to you. Well, as always, I invite you to grab your pen and your paper because we want uh, you to contact us if you so choose with your prayer requests, your uh, comments. Um, our information will be shown, shown at the very end of the show. I won't be back because we're going to take you into a roll in into the classroom. And so God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Sit back and be blessed after you grab your pen and your paper and know that we love you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. about the Lord and what stays exciting about the Lord. You just never know what each moment would take. You know, you know, you know, you never know what's gonna occur the next it's moment. That's good. I like that. It is an adventure to serve the Lord. I'm talking about like when you really, 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 really serve him. Really, 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 really. No, no, no. When you really, 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 really not serving him, and it's not an adventure. Please. If born is confined, it's binding, can't do nothing. You know, you know that lie that they tell you don't become a Christian because you can't do nothing. You really can't not do anything if you're not really if you if you if you are a surface Christian. Come on, come on, come on. But it has to be a relationship. Yeah. And when it becomes a relationship, it becomes adventurous. Not born. Just never know how the wind of the Lord is going to fly and blow. And it's just so refreshing. The wind is refreshing. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. Yes, the it wind is, is refreshing. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. You gotta get a convertible. You gotta get a convertible. You gotta get a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> well, that comes with the real Christian salvation package. <laughs> <laughs> See, so if you have, if you don't have a convertible, uh -huh. <laughs> check check to make sure you got the right package because <laughs> it's a package deal. Ooh, Lord, come on now. Come on now. And if yours didn't come with a convertible where you can glow, flow, uh, blow through the air and, and enjoy this adventurous journey, oh, got the wrong package. No. Take that one back. Sometimes you take, take it back, it's the wrong size, wrong shape, wrong color, whatever. Just don't want that. Just change your mind. Take it back. Because your journey for Christ should be an enjoyable one. Yes. Your journey for Christ, our journey for Christ should be an enjoyable one. Our journey for Christ should be a blessed one. Our journey for Christ should be the best thing yes. that ever happened to us. Not one of the good things that I remember. Nope, 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 nope. Surpasses all of that and is the best thing. So our lesson today, eternal Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you mean to say, we're going to be able to enjoy this for eternity. Amen. Eternity without any end. Yeah. Call a girl. I don't know if I can handle that. He said, you can't in, in this body, so that's why I'm going to have you transform into an, another body so that you can handle it. Because you won't be able to handle all that I all that I want to show you. You won't be able to handle it. But just come with me and let me transform your life. And I promise you, you'll be able to handle that. And so the book of Hebrews um, compares the new covenant of the Christian faith with the old covenant of the Jewish faith. I am so glad that uh, my relationship with the Lord is different. My intimate relationship with the Lord is different from my uh, rich, 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 uh, rich, that's what I'm trying to say. Ritualistic. Uh huh. Say it again. Ritualistic. Uh -huh. That's what I'm trying to say. Relationship with the Lord. Because the thing about it, intimate. See, intimately now I can say, Jesus, keep me near the cross. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. I can, sing, I can sing that with conviction and with intimacy and, 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 and from a relationship vein. But I cannot sing it, I could not sing it back then with the knowledge and with the passion and with the fervor that I have now because I was just kind of going through the motions. Right, right, You're right. supposed to go to church. Right. You're supposed to sing. You're supposed to 
do all of that. But now there is a difference. And so the book of Hebrews compares the new covenant of the Christian faith with the old covenant of the Jewish faith. Throughout the book, the author shows that Jesus has established in office a new relationship with God. How many of you are rejoicing in the new relationship? New relationship with God. That it is both a fulfillment of the old covenant patterns and is superior at every point to them. So in this final chapter of the book, chapter 13, which our lesson is found, Hebrews 13, 1 through 16, the author moves to practical matters, relationships between believers, to give practical advice on how to live Christ-like mm -hmm. in our local communities. Mm -hmm. See, it's one thing to, for, for you to tell me that I should, but tell me how to. That's, that's why that line of books are, are so popular, because uh, the how-to, you know, you, you know I, I know I want to put this window in, but how do I do that? And so and so the Bible gives us the how to 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 experience what he has said we can experience. And so let's see what the Spirit of the Lord will speak to our hearts um, in this final 13th chapter of Hebrews. Let's read our first verse please. Let, Let brotherly love, love continue. Four words <laughs> that just sums up the gospel in Jesus' name. Let Love, brotherly love, continue. In other words, continue to love each other with true Christian love. We could spend hours and days and months and years just talking about every angle of what this, these four words say when it says, let brotherly love continue. Mm -hmm. Continue, that means in spite of. Continue, that means when you want to. Continue, that means when you don't want to. Continue, that means when it's convenient. Continue, that means when it's not convenient. Oh my God, continue, period. Mm -hmm. well, you know how we say? Right, no matter what. Well, what do we say? No, no matter, matter what. what. No, matter what. No, no matter what. Okay, and then, the, and, then, and, then, and then the Lord is saying, let it continue. That's what. Period. No matter what, let it continue. And, uh, and and we do know that we have to really, really, really have that mindset to let it continue because it's very easy for it not to continue. The Amplified talks about it being a fixed practice. Mm -hmm. Fixed. Mm -hmm. Meaning it's already said mm -hmm. when something is fixed, you can cement. You can you can you can right. pray all you want right. to for <laughs> cement to move. It ain't going to you can pray all. You can fast and pray. Right, right. Semen not going in the place. Right, right. It's going to be semen. That's why it's called semen. It, it is stationary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So fixed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then practice. We gotta. We have to practice this thing. Because right. Dale, you ain't feeling me. Sometimes I ain't feeling you. And, yeah. and but we have to practice right. being kind. Right. You know, we can't just let it flow with how we feel. But I don't like you, and you don't. No, no. We have to bring it in. You know, you have to. You know, you have to dress yourself. Make sure you. Dress is pulled down and make sure you tie men is straight. You have to adjust. Because why? Because you may have left home men and your tie could have been just right on point, just just, just straight. But as you went, you know, go through the activities of the day, it gets a little twisted. And so you need to go back to the mirror and, and do this. Um, you know, you, you, you leave and your hair is combed and it looks real nice. But don't get it blown in the wind. Right. Hair but all your hair. You, we do need to comb it again. And so with that being the case, we need to know we have to let it continue. First of all, we have to know that we have to love, and then we have to let it continue. Why? Because, if, 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 you know, it would be easy, and we would have a way out if Christ had not let his love continue for mankind. Mm -hmm. But in spite of all that man did to Christ, the, one, the very ones he was suffering for, since he allowed it to continue, he said, you can't tell me, you know, you just can't tell me anything. You can't tell me you cannot love that person who's talking about you. You just can't tell me you, you, you can't love that person who does not like you. You just not can't tell me that you don't love that person who is abusive to you. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to lay there and be abusive, uh, be abused. But that means that, not, not, no, we may have to separate ourselves. But I love you in the name of the Lord, my brother, my sister. I, I bless God for you. And I'm praying in the name of the Lord that, that, that you and the Lord will continue to go forward. You, you, you know, we can never get to the point to where we just curse somebody. Right. 
Because they are not ours to curse. Right. My children are not there for you to curse. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and if we as parents, natural parents, feel that way, how much more does God our Father feel that way? That's, right. That's why we have to let brotherly love. Well, but you don't know what they did. Uh, shut it down. But, but, shut that butt down. Mm -hmm. See, that's what gets us in trouble, but. Right, right, right. When we want to say, but. When he said, period, and we say, but. See, we're trying to add on to the period. What comes after a period? Nothing. Right. End, of, end of that sentence. It, it, it's not a comma or a semicolon. It's not, any, it's, it's not any of that. It's a period. And so that brotherly love continues. Okay, now go on and read the uh, next verse. Don't be not to the children and children and children. For there are some that entertain angels unaware. Okay, uh, let me just say uh, back on that first verse. Uh, you do know that's the hallmark, that's the trademark, that is the uh, you know that is the uh, identificational badge of the Christian. St. John 13, 34, 35 talks about, and by this shall all men know, all men, even the ones who don't even acknowledge your God will know there's something, there's something strange and different about you. Love, love will melt anything. Yeah. If you love it enough, it'll melt anything. You know, it's just amazing how, 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 how we've seen it demonstrated in our own life, how when we love, and, 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 this, and this is why the, the love of God has pulled us in, because he kept loving on us. The first time he showed his love to us, we didn't respond. Hello, none of us. Right. No, not one. Amen. He had to keep loving us, and loving us, and loving us, and loving us. And pretty soon, we wanted to be loved. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty soon, we enjoyed being loved. I see two, two little eyes peeking out over our shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know what? And, and that's what happens. You know, uh, uh, at first, people become, people are resistant toward us. But because of the love that we show them, mm -hmm. they may not come full, but, but they start peeking over. Mm -hmm. And then pretty soon, you keep loving them, they start stepping around. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, there's, there's no space between your God and them. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. And so the second verse what that you just read, it says, Don't forget to show hus hospitality to strangers, for some who have done this have entertained angels without realizing it. Now, when we talk about don't forget, be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Uh, we must add that to the brotherly love. We, you know, and, and the thing about it is that the, the challenge could be is that there, there's so many components to, to the wholeness of our lives that we must remember because it's not just a love for us to say, I love you, Terry. I love you, Terry. I love you, Terry. I can say I love you, Terry, all day long, but now I need to add something to that. And not only to Terry, because, because the first verse sort of horns in on our relationship with each other. Uh, the, the second verse uh, sort of horns in on those who are outsiders. Uh, it, 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 you know, it, it was something because I haven't had this it was a peculiar week because I hadn't had this before happen to me. Now, I've had people ask me for money to buy food and that kind of thing. But I had them uh, back to back on Monday and on Tuesday. I had uh, uh, someone, and, and the thing about it, what disarmed me was the fact that they said, I don't want money, I, I'm just hungry, can you buy me some food? Mm -hmm. And so with that being the case, you know, you, you know once I brought the food, they couldn't go and do anything that they should not be doing with it. And so that disarmed me. Now I had the opportunity to say, well, no, nah, uh -uh. or oh, yes. And the thing about it, and, and, and I, 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 I've chuckled throughout the week behind it because of the fact that the first, that there was a lady on, uh, on, on Monday that asked me to, uh, to, to, to buy her some food. And so I said, okay, well, let's go into this, this, this chicken place. And so um, I think even she led the way. And uh, when we got there, I was going to order for her what I was going to order mm -hmm. for her. But she boldly stepped up there and she said, well, give me a number five and give me, you know, <laughs> Ma'am, 
Um, my answer to the men is, you need to go ask that man over there. Don't, right. don't ask me, go ask that man over there. Right. Because, you know, because again, being guarded. Right. And, uh, and so the man said, man, I'm just hungry. Can you buy me some food? Mm -hmm. So, so it was right there. So I went to Subway and got him. I said, so what do you, he said, man, whatever you get me, whatever you get me, whatever, um, whatever. And so then, uh, and so then, and so I was able to, 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 to show, be hospitable to both of them. Now, we can say that um, we never have an opportunity, but opportunity knocks every day. Now, we have to also be wise in that because now, now, now after I left that man, I, I, as I was walking, uh, another man at the bus stop asked me if he could have some money to get ride the bus from here to stop here. Well, my first inclination was to say, uh, <laughs> you got two feet right here. <laughs> You just start walking. You just start that far. But I, I, but, but, but I would not dare unclose or, or open up myself. Because, you know, people, you have to also walk in the spirit and be wise, too. Now, even, now, now, it don't take that much to get from, from here to there, even monetarily. So all I'm indicating to you is that we have to be hospitable. Why? Because of the fact that we never know who we're entertaining. And, 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 and it's amazing that we can discard people and, and, and not think of them as we should. And they turn around and they blow our mind. As indicated today, even you know our minds were blown in in, in 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 certain ways because why? Because the, the package sometimes it it, 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 it it doesn't it, it the package doesn't fairly represent the product right, on the inside. Right. Amen. Amen. You know sometimes the meal, sometimes the dish is not the, the dish is the dish is, is sabotaged by the appearance. Right. Oh, y'all act like y'all eat everything. Oh, 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 if it doesn't look right, yeah, yeah, don't even mess with it. Don't even mess with it. And that could be the best pot of stew that you yeah. ever had. Could be the best cake. But because it doesn't look right. Yeah, exactly. We, we see them with the eyes. And so here it's saying, look, be careful how you entertain. Why? Because back then, you know, people were, uh, back then, uh, they were having to relocate and, and then all of that because of the uh, uh, political pressure that they were in so on. But, but these are hard times for people. And then we also have to be careful that we don't just only look to give them the fish, but we must be willing to teach them how to fish. In other words, we have to not just make them dependent upon us, codependent upon us, but we have to also uh, recommend to them ways that you can keep this going on. See, this is only going to be a one-time experience, but now if you want to keep this going on, in Jesus' name. And so we have to know that we are called to do that. Why? Because the Lord says, well, what does the Lord say? That look, when you've done it to the least of these, you've done it unto me. Amen. You've done it unto me. And so that's why that we have to be real careful with how we throw off, you know, like, jump. We have to be careful with our attitudes because whatever we're doing, whatever we're seeing, however way, however way we're looking, we're doing that else unto the Lord. Amen. There is a there is an external covering, but inside it really is the Lord. And so how we throw off, how we throw off, how we throw off is really how how we're responding to the Lord. And if we keep that in our mind, it will govern how we talk to one another. It will govern what we do to each other. Because I'm going to talk to you crazy, devil. And I, really, I remember that Jesus, you are, the, you are the external of the internal Jesus. Wow. That's mm. it. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, my God. Are you just the external of the internal Jesus? We get stuck on, because I, all I see is Dale, and Dale, Dale, Dale. But when I address Dale, that's just a shell. Yeah. But I'm, in, I'm adjusting the Jesus on the inside yeah. of her. So how the way we interact with each other, we really are interacting with Jesus. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's the word. Mm. Just a ouch. Yeah, big ouch. Y'all out too, y'all. Listen up, y'all. I know they gonna look out. Uh huh. You know it would be so much easier if we could make Jesus.
Jesus signs and make people wear them on their forehead. Then we're like, okay. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> how you doing today? Oh, 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 how you doing today? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Yes, I am. You know, Emma stop us in our track. We just saw the Jesus across the forehead. Can we do a project and make everybody in the world wear Jesus signs? <laughs> that would really help us out. But we have to become Jesus sensitive to the degree that how we interact with one is really how we interact with the Lord. So we have to be careful because we never know. It, 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 it is such a blessing and I know all of you have experienced that relationships that you have established years ago and how they are still blessing your life even today. And how they have blessed your life 20 years later, 30 years later. That's nothing but the glory of God. That's nothing but the, 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 the fact that when you encountered this person for the very first time before you even knew this person, you encountered this person in such a way that it impressed and made a relationship between the two of you. And so in a, and so, so in a sense, you entertained an angel unaware. You didn't know about this. I don't know about no terror cops. Right, right. We side people up. Mm, I don't know if I want to be bothered with her or not. I don't know. If I, don't, I don't know her and everything, but mm, I don't think she fit my qualification to be a person I need to deal with. When I could have missed out, and I would have missed out, Terry, and I'm serious, I would have missed out on so many years Amen. of not having someone that's sweet, kind, in my life, Amen. supportive, Amen. always there. I, uh, one, of the, one of the more pivotal moments uh, in Terry and my relationship occurred when, well for me, was when we were at uh, uh, okay. Lake Forest, or yeah, one of them. Uh, up there, uh, yeah, up years ago, Forest, years ago. Forest, Forest, Forest Hill, Forest, Where we just at, the, at, at the conference place. <laughs> now, they tell you to be careful with those bears, Forest Homes, because they take bears and all like that out there. But Terry and I, you know, and I like, and I, I enjoyed it because it was just she and I, I, I was sitting out there in front, and, 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 and she wasn't gibbering, talkative, you know, she, she was just there. And to the degree that the atmosphere was such that we just kind of went on to sleep. Mm -hmm. Out there in the open mm -hmm. where the bear could have got us. <laughs> <laughs> the mountain lions could have come out. <laughs> but I'm indicating to you that it was such a peaceful mm -hmm. and peaceable atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so be careful. Not to throw people, not to be careful not to size people up. Amen. They're too heavy, they're too dark, they're too whatever. Ooh. Ouch. 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 Yeah. <laughs> See. I'm out for y'all too. <laughs> Make up y'all for me. Because I'm already because I because it comes through me first. Hello. In Jesus' name. Yes, man of God. Oh, you had to say that. It's kind of like when my boy say, uh, uh, you're supposed to be Dr. Missionary. <laughs> 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 Last night. What had happened was. What had happened was. I was driving. I was No. Uh, I was driving and um, I was going to one place where I saw Sister Bill Hill. And in doing a good deed, I thought, I. On my way to something else, I saw some of the bus stop. And I showed respect of persons. Respect of persons. I decided, out of the so many times, not this time, I gotta go. Mm. And we're not given that luxury. And I just felt that I need to say that it's important in my official capacity mm -hmm. <laughs> that we don't minimize in our own eyes that which God has placed at the forefront of his heart. 
Because when I lose sight of people for his creation, I begin to seek out the spectacular, and this is supernatural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Let's be right. <laughs> How do we forget by becoming so focused on what's happening in our lives, by placing our focus on those persons who will be beneficial, seemingly, to us? Hmm. And those are the very ones that have let us down, mm -hmm. the ones that we just looked at and said, mm. That would be a good friend or good, good catch, good, good whatever. And there they are! You don't turn it all around. You say, who is this? There's a person you said that was going to be so good for you in your life. <laughs> By deciding to hold back on and send it to others because we feel that it's not being given back to me. So why should I be friendly to you? It ain't, it's not being happy. It's not, it's not happening to me. So why should I be friendly? I'm, well, y'all. If the, I promise you the Lord is not short concerning his word that he will manifest that that needs to be, be, be manifested. So we have to love each other continuously and we have to be gracious to those who we don't even know. With the, we, and, 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 and of course, there, there we still have to walk in wisdom. You can't just go and just be all, you, you, you know, you, you can't just afford to let everybody just come on your house and say, come on in. I don't know you, but come on up in here. No, you know, you have to be selective. We have to walk in wisdom. That's why our life is a balanced kind of situation. It's, he doesn't leave us off balance here and make us go overboard this way. No, but, 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 and this is why he says, look, you can, um, whatever you ask, I'm going to do it. Why? Because with, with material.